Thank you, Presiding Officer. The First Minister has betrayed communities in the north of Scotland with her broken promise to duel the A9. It is clear that the work required to fulfil this promise has never been done. Her government seek to blame events that should never have impacted on this timetable. So will she now give us a date for completion of the duelling of the A9, or is she really telling us that the Greens are running her government? First Minister. Well, firstly, let me, let me be very clear. The Scottish Government is firmly committed to completing the duelling of the A9 between Perth and Thank you. Inverness. Uh, that's a £3 billion investment. Uh, there's been already over £430 million invested in it. Road users are already benefiting from some stretches already duelled. Um, on the uh, issue covered in Parliament uh, yesterday, uh, we have carefully reviewed uh, the submitted tender for that stretch and concluded, uh, after a very difficult and complex procurement procedure, the award of that contract at this time would not represent best value for the taxpayer. The price of that tender was significantly higher than expected, even allowing for the impacts of inflation and a volatile economy. And had we gone ahead with that, then down the line, I am sure opposition members would have criticised us for doing so because it wasn't best value for the taxpayer. As the Transport Secretary uh, set out uh, yesterday, uh, steps will now be taken uh, by Transport Scotland on the necessary preparatory steps for the urgent retendering with the aim of achieving a contract award before the end of uh, this year and a new timetable will be set out as quickly as possible. Uh, it is also important to point out, finally, Presiding Officer, that design work is progressing on the rest of the programme with ministerial decisions to complete the statutory process confirmed for seven of the remaining eight schemes.